Top 10 Worldwide Best Selling Albums of All Time. You can check out any time you like, but you can Ten Grease, the original soundtrack from the motion picture, 1978, one of the best known and loved musicals of all time. 1978 is arguably the most prominent film of the decade's 1950s throwback craze. The movie is an adaptation of the stage show of the same name, 1971, written by Jim Jacobs and Warren Casey. The soundtrack album has to date sold over 14.4 million copies worldwide making it the 10th best-selling album of all time worldwide. 9. Fleetwood Mac A Rumors, 1977 Rumors, 1977, was transatlantic pop rock band Fleetwood Mac's 11th studio album. The writing and recording process was heavily informed by destructive relationships both internal and external of the band as the time founding member Mick Fleetwood drums, had recently discovered that the mother of his two children was having an affair. As the album's 40 million plus worldwide sales can attest, you'll see that many of the worldwide best-selling albums have a context of difficult times in common, from bereavement to professional or artistic frustrations. 8. BGZ Saturday Night Fever, 1977 The film Saturday Night Fever, 1977, and its BG soundtrack are so iconic it's difficult to imagine them apart, but the performers were actually dancing on set to music by the likes of Stevie Wonder and Buzz Skaggs. It wasn't until post-production that the Bee Gees were tasked with scoring the movie. The soundtrack hit the Billboard album charts of 1978 and remained there for 120 weeks eventually ending its run in March of 1980. It has since sold over 45 million copies worldwide and has been added to the National Recording Registry in the Library of Congress due to its cultural significance. 7. Eagles A Hotel California The background for Eagles 42 million plus worldwide selling magnum opus Hotel California, 1976 is one of interpersonal band difficulties. Five studio albums in and a band were now referring to one another by surname only. They would record ideas separately and send them to one another for approval. Their principal country influence multi-instrumentalist Bernie Ledden had recently left the band so they made a conscious decision to veer towards a rock sound. When it came to hitting the studio lead guitarist Don Felder couldn't quite remember a guitar hook he'd been experimenting with at home so asked his housekeeper to to play the tape down the phone for him. This would become the basis for lead track A Hotel California. 6. Whitney Houston Various Artists at the Bodyguard 1992, originally envisioned by writer Lawrence Caston in 1976 as a star vehicle for Diana Ross, the bodyguard film production twice stalled in the same decade before eventually going ahead with Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston co-starring in 1992. This was Whitney's debut acting role she struck up a strong relationship with her co-star which would last a lifetime with her offering him singing lessons in exchange for acting tips. The most famous song from the soundtrack is epic ballad A I Will Always Love You. And I wish you Originally recorded by its songwriter Dolly Parton in 1973, it was producer and lead actor Kevin Costner's idea for Whitney to record the track. It is one of the best-selling singles of all time and the album has sold over 42 million copies. 5. Meet Loaf A Bat Out of Hell, 1977 Produced by Todd Rundgren and composed by Jim Steinman, Meet Loaf's Bat Out of Hell, 1977, 
was inspired by the idea of a Peter Pan rock musical. It followed two and a half years of record company rejection. At the time Meat Loaf was known as a Broadway actor and there wasn't much of a precedent for actors moving into the rock world. Columbia Records' Clive Davis famously told Meat Loaf actors don't make records. The album fused the working class angst of Bruce Springsteen with epic semi-operatic vocals. Videos were produced to support the album. When MTV launched in 1981 videos were queued up live by members of staff like on the radio. Meat Loaf's extensive touring in support of the record also helped keep it fresh in people's minds, but it's likely it's almost unique status as a rock opera concept album that has led it to accumulate worldwide sales of over 43 million copies. Four, Pink Floyd at the Dark Side of the Moon. 1973, the only progressive rock album in the top 10, Dark Side of the Moon, 1973, explores conflict, greed, Time and mental health A themes previously mined by the band A but without the extended instrumentals, which were common throughout their earlier material. For their eighth studio album they adopted a more direct approach with their lyricism, the record exploring the human experience in detail. Each side reflects different stages of human existence. Dark Side of the Mna's iconic album cover was designed by Storm Thaurdzen. It represents the record's themes and the band's live show lighting after keyboardist Richard Wright asked for simple and bold artwork. Some of the profits from the album were invested in the film Monty Python and the Holy Grail. 3. AC slash DCA Back in Black, 1980. Was produced by rock super producer Robert John Muttlang, who demanded perfection, especially from vocalist Brian Johnson. This is the band's seventh studio album but their first with New Johnson following the untimely death of their original singer Bon Scott. The record's black album cover was designed as a sign of mourning for Scott who's lost devastated the band. Rolling Stone journalist David Frick described the album and release as a the first LP since Led Zeppelin in two that captures all the blood, sweat and arrogance of the genre. It was released at a turning point for heavy metal many bands from the genre began playing slow music and indulging in lengthier guitar solos whilst others became influenced by the high energy of punk and sought a more accessible pop sound. The single You Shook Me All Night Long is a staple at US strip clubs. A Back in Black was the first song Kurt Cobain learnt on the guitar and the album has since sold over 50 million copies worldwide. 2. The Eagles are the greatest hits 1971 A 1975, 1976. Over the years this compilation album from Eagles has jostled with Michael Jackson's Thriller, 1982, for the US best-selling album spot. It was surpassed by Jackson's album after his death and has since regained its number one spot, but not in terms of worldwide sales. It has sold over 42 million copies worldwide. 1. Michael Jackson A Thriller Michael Jackson's Thriller, 1982, has sold over 66 million copies to date and won a record-breaking eight Grammy Awards. It has been included in the Library of Congress National Recording Registry A together with the John Lantis, A American Werewolf in London. Directed A Thriller Video A is culturally significant. Jackson's previous album Off the Wall, 1979, had been a critical success, but he was happy. He was disappointed that it didn't win a Grammy for Record of the Year and felt generally undervalued by the music industry. He'd been told on numerous occasions that magazines don't sell with a black person on the cover and was determined that one day similar publications would be begging him for an interview. Due to a disco backlash at the time, a beat it was written as an antidote to the disco heavy sound of his previous record. Eddie Van Halen was recruited for guitar solo duties and horror icon Vincent Price read the rap in A Thriller. The Quincy Jones produced record was infused with a variety of genres including funk, 